ladies and gentlemen welcome back once again to my youtube channel so the wiper party leader kalonzo musioka is currently a man under siege because for quite a very very long period of time kalonzo musioka has been depending too much on the former head of state Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's political endorsement in his 2027 presidential bid. And that simply explains as to why up to date Kalonzo Musioka and his white party does not want to exit, does not want to leave the Azimio no Moja One Kenya Alliance. Because Kalonzo strongly believes that through Azimio is the only way that Uhuru Kenyatta will endorse him in the 2027 general elections. Because as things are currently, it is very crystal clear that there is no way Raila Odinga and the ODM party will actually endorse Kalonzo Musioka in 2027 general elections. Raila Odinga and ODM are working very closely with President William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance through the broad-based government that is ahead of the 2027 general elections. And that is why I've always insisted, I've always maintained in this channel that William Ruto and Raila Odinga's broad-based government will actually form the next government of the 2027 general elections. For those who are still doubting about this, just watch this space. But we have bad news for Kanonzo Musioka because shocking details have emerged, which I will also show you in this analysis, that even the former head of state, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta, is also secretly working together with President William Ruto again and Raila Odinga behind the scenes. And that is why for me personally, I have always admired Uhuru Muge Kenyatta's politics. Because one thing that makes Uhuru Kenyatta still relevant and very unique in the politics of the Republic of Kenya is that you will never ever see Uhuru Kenyatta in public engaging in politics. You will always, I mean, Uhuru Kenyatta has always operated behind the scenes. And that is why Uhuru Kenyatta has always been silent in politics. But despite Uhuru Kenyatta's total silence in politics, you will always hear Uhuru Kenyatta's name being mentioned by prominent politicians just for pol their political survival. Like for instance, in this case, it turns out that Raila Odinga himself is the one who is successfully uniting Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto again ahead of the 2027 20, elections. I really don't know if this is going to work. And I'm not so sure if Uhuru Kenyatta will agree to join President William Ruto's broad-based government together with Raila Odinga. Only time will tell. But this is exactly how all this started. Let me give you the details in this video. But of course, before we begin, if you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed to this channel, I want you to take one second or two and just hit the subscribe button down below for you to be able to receive more political updates from this channel each and every single day. You can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video in particular and this entire channel to reach out to more people because I believe that is the only way that we can improve this channel to grow. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much 
for your continued support and don't take the support for granted. I want you to listen to this analysis to the end so that you can understand what exactly is going on right here. I will be very brief in this video. So let us begin right from here. Just a few days ago, if you can remember, Raila Odinga talked about all these issues. He talked about how Uhuru Kenyatta himself personally sent him to have a meeting with President William Ruto so that Ruto and Raila Odinga come, can come up with the solutions to the issues being raised by the Gen Z's. That was when the country was burning. I mean, during the Gen Z's protest just a few months ago. But when Raila Odinga was talking about all these issues, nobody, including myself, trusted what Raila Odinga was saying until recently. So this is exactly what Raila Odinga said during that time. When the country was burning, the former president Uhuru Kenyatta called me. Uhuru Kenyatta asked me to reach out to President William Ruto and to also find out a solution to the issues being raised by the Gen Z's. We talked and I told him my thoughts and how to deal with the Gen Z situation. So how exactly did Raila Odinga deal with the Gen Z situation during that time? Raila Odinga dealt with that situation by agreeing to form the broad-based government with President William Ruto to end the Gen Z's protests. And that is why up to date, the Gen Z's are totally against Raila Odinga. The Gen Z's are very angry with Raila Odinga. They are accusing Raila Odinga of betrayal. The Gen Z's are saying that Raila Odinga took the advantage of the Gen Z's protests because of his own personal political interests. And that is why if you have been listening carefully, that is why the Gen Z's are not even supporting Raila Odinga's African Union Commission top job. They are totally upset with Raila Odinga. But again, the question here is, do you really think that the former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta was also part of William Ruto and Raila Odinga's plan to form the broad-based government? Because Raila Odinga was the one who dragged in Uhuru Kenyatta's name and Uhuru Kenyatta has not yet responded. And do you really think that Uhuru Kenyatta is also supporting William Ruto and Raila Odinga's broad-based government behind the scene? According to this article here and the details which I will show you also in this analysis, Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting both Raila Odinga and William Ruto working together ahead of the 2027 general elections. And that is why, first of all, Uhuru Kenyatta has recently changed completely his tune on Raila Odinga's African Union Commission endorsement. Because initially, Uhuru Kenyatta was advising Raila Odinga to quit or to fold his African Union Commission ambitions so that he can vie again in the 2027 general elections. Because Uhuru Kenyatta wanted to support, wanted to endorse Raila Odinga again to remove President William Ruto from power. Let me just read for you this article which says, the former President Uhuru Kenyatta is said to have invited Mr. Odinga to at least two meetings outside the country at which he has persuaded uh, the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga to abandon the quest for the African Union Commission so that he can concentrate on Kenya. But recently, after the formation of the broad-based government between Ruto and Raila Odinga, the office of the former head of state, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta himself, recently announced that 
even Uhuru Kenyatta is endorsing Raila Odinga's African Union Commission top job. Let me just read for you this article which says, this is what the office of Uhuru Kenyatta said. Former President Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting ex-Prime Minister Raila Odinga's quest to become the African Union Commission chairman. His office said yesterday, as it emerged that Uhuru Kenyatta was using his old networks to campaign for Raila Odinga. And I was thinking that even if Uhuru Kenyatta truly is supporting Raila Odinga's African Union Commission top job, and he has unveiled already a strategy to campaign for Raila Odinga, there's a likelihood that Raila Odinga will win the African Union Commission top job because Uhuru Kenyatta has a lot of networks. Uhuru Kenyatta knows very many people. He has a lot of connections. William Ruto alone campaigning for Raila Odinga's African Union Commission top job, it is totally not enough. With Uhuru Kenyatta's recent endorsement for Raila Odinga, it is an advantage to Raila Odinga indeed. Number two on why Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting William Ruto and Raila Odinga working together in the broad-based government, that is the main reason as to why Uhuru Kenyatta has dumped the Waipa party leader Kalonzo Musyoka. Uhuru Kenyatta had some plans in the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance. And in Uhuru Kenyatta's plans, it was to restructure the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance so that he can endorse Kalonzo Musyoka ahead of the 2027 general elections. But with Uhuru Kenyatta supporting Ruto and Raila Odinga working together, Kalonzo Musyoka will not be endorsed by Uhuru Kenyatta in 2027. I want us to wait and see how things will turn out to be. And finally, that is why nowadays you don't see Uhuru Kenyatta's allies anymore attacking President William Ruto. Uhuru Kenyatta's allies like um, Jeremiah Kioni, Mwangi Wairia, and the rest of the leaders. Uhuru Kenyatta had already formed a new coalition ahead of the 2027 general election during the Limuru 3 meeting, a coalition dubbed as the Haki Coalition. But Uhuru Kenyatta has decided to go slow on this issue and to support Ruto and Raila Odinga. I don't really know what you think. I would really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Is Uhuru Kenyatta really supporting William Ruto and Raila Odinga's broad-based government? And do you think that Raila, I mean Uhuru Kenyatta will join Ruto and Raila Odinga's broad-based government? ahead of the 2027 general elections. Ladies and gentlemen, I would really want to know what you think. Just comment down below. I'll go through your comments. Otherwise, I don't have much. I just want to say thank you so much for listening to me up to this point. That was my analysis for today. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Remember, my name is Jason. Bye-bye and have a good night. Thank you.